Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is September 17th, and right now we are looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. And if you take a close look here, you can see the ridge that was across much of the region there yesterday. It's all pushed off to the east, and that's what's going to allow us to cool down some. We're not going to have that strong onshore flow that we had yesterday. And then we've got a system as we go through the weekend that'll be rolling through the area. We'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at the extended forecast. Looks like we're still going to get active in towards the later portion of September, so stay tuned for that. Now, taking a look at the Bear Gulch fire, it is this area of smoke on the Olympic Peninsula, which I believe is at least the biggest fire in the last 50 years for the Olympic Peninsula. Very substantial and very noteworthy fire. You can see it was burning in three different areas yesterday, and that hot spot was really spreading around, as you can see. By sunset, it was producing a huge plume of smoke, pyrocumulus out there. So that was not just a normal cumulus cloud you were seeing across some of the Seattle metro and wherever else you could see it, but pyrocumulus clouds out there. Otherwise, there was hardly a cloud in the sky. Now, we go through the overnight hours and you can really see that hot spot burning last night and we go back out towards this morning and still producing quite a bit of smoke and mixing heights are fairly similar again here today. So we may get some similar fire behavior today. Hopefully that's not the case because it is going to be a little bit cooler here for the area. Now, taking a look at my time lapse here, look at this just going off across the Olympic Mountains. These are the mountains right here, and you can see how much higher this plume of smoke is going and just carrying downstream. Just some pretty um, unusual fire behavior here for the Olympic Mountains. And again, you can imagine all the mass that is being burned uh, in the forest out there. Not a great thing. And the three tree point here in the Puget Sound kind of showing up there. Now, wider view of things here. Again, yesterday, look at hardly a cloud in the sky as we went through the afternoon hours for Washington. Washington, Oregon, probably almost nothing there and across much of BC. And then you can see this very weak system moving towards the coastline here and we get towards this morning. I don't know how much headway these clouds are going to make. You can already see some of this is already burning off here this morning. So that Bear Gulch fire may get going again here yet again today. And if we take a look at the latest high resolution rapid refresh, here we go through this morning. We're now towards the noon hour right there. And you can see the high resolution model wants to show a pretty good plume of smoke ongoing. The sugar low fire, even the uh, wildcat fire there starting to flare up a bit again as we go through this app afternoon also so we are not done with the smoke just yet and then you can kind of see some of this smoke get pushed back towards the seattle metro as we go through tomorrow morning that could be surface smoke and like what we talked about yesterday i could smell surface smoke with the east winds yesterday as well and the models were showing that a lot of that being aloft but yeah we could have some air quality issues as we go on into thursday morning no doubt now, take a look here at max mixing height. So this was yesterday, and you can see pretty similar heights today and tomorrow. So we may, again, have some similar fire behavior. This is the way they measure, uh, you know, the activity of these fires, and I clicked on that. So, yeah, you can see that. It's where the Barrigals fire is right there, and Seattle Metro is over here. Anyway, let's get on to the forecast here. So... If you want a nice affordable home weather station, click on that link down below. You still have time to get one of these before fall sets in and we start getting our crazy weather here in the Pacific Northwest. Help support the channel. And one more time, Bear Gulch Fire here. <laughs> Sorry about that. You can see that the burn area is increased to the north and it was at least 12,000 acres, may even be more than that. And they do a status update with that as well. And just a reminder, if you want to do this National Weather Service Missoula Online Weather Spotter talk, you don't have to be from this area to sign up for it. And you can really increase your weather knowledge. Yesterday, 93 degrees at my house. It was 53 degrees in the morning, an increase of 40 degrees. It's our extremely warm September day. Much of the region also quite warm. You see Portland, what, up, some places in Portland up towards the 90 degrees. Looks like Seattle hit 91 officially. And that was warmer than Portland. East, and you can see Quileute 84 degrees. Look at Long Beach 88 right on the ocean there. Astoria 90 degrees, uh, 88 degrees out towards Aberdeen as well. Even Ocean Shores 85. So, yeah, very warm day. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of the last gasp of summer. So anyway, taking a look at what's going on. Again, this is the ridge pushing off to the east. And then you can see that very weak system passing by. A little bit of a trough here. Not much. And then we build the ridge back up offshore a little bit again here. You can kind of see that ridge extending towards Vancouver Island. Then we go toward this weekend and we start to get a pattern change coming in here. Look at this system rolling through. Hopefully this can bring some precipitation. Start to put out that Bear Gulch fire as we go through the day on Sunday a nice looking system there hopefully it doesn't trend any weaker bit of a transient ridge there and then the Gulf of Alaska troughing starts to get going more on that in the extended forecast here in a minute 
But looking at temperature today, it's still fairly warm for Seattle, Portland, Willamette Valley, lower 80, Southwest BC, upper 70s as well. We'll go through Thursday, a little bit of a cool down there. Friday, bounce back those temperatures a little bit. Saturday, Sunday, we bring that frontal system through, cool us down a little bit here. And then we go on in through next week. We'll, we'll see what's going to happen with that. But looking at the European as of last night. So let's scroll out here and let's watch Sunday's frontal system. Also, I forgot to mention this. So I'm also, I was about to forget. You can see some of this monsoon moisture across California as we go through the day on Friday that is going to be creeping and crawling towards the Oregon Cascades here so that we have the potential for some monsoon moisture that would be thunderstorm activity even maybe creep up into the southern Washington Cascades as we go on the day Friday then we go through Saturday morning some of that moisture still moving across the area in advance of our frontal system that I talked about here on Sunday so here we go very early Sunday morning it starts to impact the Washington coast with some moderate rain southwest BC hopefully bringing some nice amounts across the Bear Gulch fires Seattle Metro down through Portland and that frontal system swings through. It's losing its punch as it moves down across some of Western Oregon though. And then we go off into extended more on that here in a moment. Now, Fantasy Windstorm Hut, this is the frontal system on Sunday. So just a little bit blustery, nothing to be concerned about with that. But you can see some stronger systems do have the potential to roll in here as we go through the end of September. Again, watching that closely, you see one of these ensemble members, ensemble member 12, 53 for SeaTac. That would be no good with all the leaves on trees and whatnot. And going through a summer of drought would no doubt lead to some tree damage. More likely you're going to get a frontal system here somewhere in the 30s, maybe up towards 40 if I had to bet. But we'll see how that trends over the next few days same thing for Hokley and Washington you see the better wind gusts here showing up towards the end of September Quilly Northwest Washington coast also maybe their first 50 mile per hour gust of the year as we go on in through the end of the month and there's Tillamook Oregon similar picture there so Gulf of Alaska here's the artificial intelligence we start to scroll through here and we look off towards Sunday and there goes our frontal system pushing through there Sunday early morning and then we kind of a ridge noses in but then the Gulf of Alaska trough is going to get going here and again it depends on where this trough sets up is it going to stay a little bit further off and are we going to only get brushed by systems or are these stronger systems going to start to approach the pacific northwest all good questions and all things we are going to be checking out over the next few days if we look at the gfs we'll scroll out towards sunday here actually this is a 12z it is running hot off the presses as we speak so here we go we start to head off towards sunday and then you can see that frontal system that would be a pretty decent one right there sunday morning pushing across the region big onshore flow big pattern change precipitation starts to return and then we look off into the extended it doesn't get quite far enough out there but you can see that this is a bit closer to the coastline so let's back up to the 06Z run on the European, on the GFS, sorry. And then you can see the troughs are fairly close there and some stronger systems approaching the coastline. Again, we'll watch that day by day. You don't want to get caught up in exactly what's going to happen with those systems just yet. Now, uh, we're going to skip the GFS there on the mean sea level pressure. We kind of just went over that. The European, this is at 39,000 feet. This is yesterday afternoon's run. So if I back this up, you can kind of see the ridge that was with us yesterday, right across the region there. And then this next very weak system pushes through. Sunday system is right here. You can kind of see that little kink in the jet stream as it crosses the North Pacific and the Gulf of Alaska. A little bit of a ridge builds here as we go through the early portion of next week. And then it does show some interesting stuff. Look at how it catches some of this monsoon moisture and spreads this back up across the Pacific Northwest there. The weather nerd me always looking out for something fun of the extended. And then you see the jet stream and some troughing pointed at the Pacific Northwest with some stronger systems as we go through the end of the month. But again, we'll be watching that on a daily basis. And if we look at that same thing here, let's go through Sunday coming up. This is yesterday afternoon's run, by the way. It shows that monsoon moisture coming up but across Oregon that would probably mainly start on the day Friday and then potential for that on Saturday as well and then the frontal system swings through what happens after that well there comes some of that moisture all the way down out of the subtropics back up across the Pacific Northwest with this next frontal system swinging through as we clear that out and get back more towards you know some frontal systems and some more typical fall Pacific Northwest weather six to ten day here we go uh, kind of a mixed bag there across Pacific Northwest above normal over the troughing we just saw, 8 to 14 days. They've included us with a little bit of below here across Washington and some above normal there as well. So check out the Patreon page link down below. Um, if you can't tell, I'm under the weather. Man, it hit hard again yesterday. This cold has been with me and my son and my daughter here for a few days now. So pretty wicked. I heard a lot of people have it, kind of a nasty head cold, and it has not spared me. So anyway... 
I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. Um, hope you guys are having a good day. Click like and subscribe. We'll do this all again tomorrow and I'll talk to you guys then.